here at the tank wash and it is currently starting to rain once this other prime driver grabs this uh, trailer and takes off I'm gonna go start backing up there's another trailer not the trailer that I brought here uh, but there's another trailer that is available I checked the tires on the trailer they look they look decent so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and back up underneath it start hooking up to it let this uh, rain die down since uh, my appointment time is at 6 p.m. to get loaded uh, so I'm not in no hurry there's no point in trying to rush getting there starting my clock I'll just run it out uh, if I hook up and go right now but once I get hooked up to this trailer I have to go up the street about 20 minutes from here and I have to get a, a scale ticket for empty weight before I get to the shipper and then uh, once I get to the shipper at 6 p.m. at my appointment time I'll hopefully get loaded right away and then that way I can be able to hit the road and uh, this load is delivering to Isonova, Isonova in Spencer, Iowa. All right, so it looks like this prime driver is grabbing that trailer and he is taking off now. So I'm gonna be hooking up to this guy right here that's clean and ready to get. All right, let's go get hooked up to this bad boy. Let's go get hooked up to this trailer here real quick while the rain kind of died down a little bit. I got the wash tickets on here showing that it was clean before I get to the shipper. All right, it's time to get up out of here. I'm just right up the street from the scale. I gotta stop at this place to get an empty weight for my trailer before I get over to the shipper. So that's where we're headed now. Oh look, check this out over here to your left. It's a Cartoon Network Hotel. Look at that, Cartoon Network Hotel. Boy, that guy's pretty close to that car. Wow. Chill out there, buddy. Corn fills? Boy, oh, that's gonna be some good corn when it's done. I'll tell you that right now. There we go. I'm gonna head up, head up over here. There we go. Pull right up in here. Get up on the scale. Here we go. You gotta get that. First way. First way. Number. Seven two five one six five.
Thank you. Pull up your truck and I come inside, please. Thank you. All right, just got the scale ticket for my empty weight. Now I'm going to head over to the shipper. This is a tiny little mom and pop truck stop, so it's tight. So I had to basically pull in front of the scale, run in there real quick so that way I could get the scale ticket. Because all these spots are reserved parking, so. But luckily I didn't block anybody, so I didn't want anybody coming out here talking smack. So ready to hit her at the shipper in Ephrata, Pennsylvania. Uh, this place is super, super tight. So whenever I come here, they have me drop my trailer which is right over there uh, they're hooking up to it now and they're gonna go load it once they are done loading it they're gonna drop it down for me and then I'll hook up to it and get out of here so uh, I'm gonna be here for at least a few hours but uh, I checked in I uh, gave them the lightweight scale ticket and the wash ticket showing that it was washed and it looks like this guy is gonna start moving it to get loaded So this is a typical typical load for a tanker truck driver. Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, it is, let's see what time it is, 8.29 in the morning. I got to this place at 2.37 or 2.46 p.m. yesterday. Normally, whenever I go to a shipper, after they get done loading the trailer, they'll come and knock on the door to wake me up uh, I stayed up pretty late last night and my trailer was still over here but they moved it so I woke up and went and talked to the the shipper over here talked to a lady in here and they wanted me to sign the paperwork showing that it was loaded at 11 p.m. last night at 627 on the 27th which was yesterday but uh, I, I told her I'm not signing that paperwork I told her I'm not trying to be difficult but somebody's paying me for detention pay or layover pay something so I had them change the date before I would sign the paperwork on here so now we're gonna go ahead and get hooked up to the trailer over here Pennsylvania. That's the one thing if you're a truck driver, you'll be doing a lot of waiting. Shippers, receivers, tank washes. However, I prefer to drive on the tanker side. I've seen I've seen other people's videos where they drive these drive vans, semi-trucks, and they have to make multiple pickups and multiple stops. Now I'm good driving on the tanker side on the inedible. I do have to deal with a lot of flies and the smells are horrible on the inedible side, but I would rather deal with that and the weights and all that versus driving a, a reefer or a dry van where I have to make multiple pickups and multiple stops. That just doesn't seem like fun to me. And I do like on this tanker side with Prime, I get to see a lot of the country. So I kind of right now, I'm in the country right now. You know, truck driving ain't for everybody, but can deal with uh, you know try having some patience uh, you are gonna work your tail off you know like after you get loaded you're gonna go 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 I mean you're always kind of go 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 your sleep schedules always cycled around and changes every day but you can make some money trucking but you got to have some patience for sure and I personally don't like being up here in the Northeast up here in Pennsylvania and New York but it is what it is. Still go, even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go,
Still I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I invite pain You'll never hear me bitch Nah I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain Anything you want Anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient It's belief uh, Better see with the negativity But I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low You can still go Even when you feel slow You can still go Even when there's no hope You can still go I never ran to the no man I still go Go, 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 go Here, I'm going to grab all my trash and I'm going to go toss all my trash while I'm here. There's a trash can right there. Throw this here right in the trash. So I decided to grab some lunch from this iron skillet at Petro in Ohio, right off the 80. Let's take a look. I got a big breakfast platter, little biscuits and gravy, over medium eggs with some hash browns. We got uh, two big boy pancakes. I think we just had a truck roll over. Truck roll over just now. Oh boy. You guys pay attention when you're driving. Pay attention. Wow. I just literally rolled his truck just now. Oh my God. Somebody went out there to, somebody's out there to check on this guy. I hope he's all right. Oh wow, he hit the pole. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Guys, I'm telling you, pay attention when you're driving. No matter what you're driving, pay attention. Boy. Louise. I'm praying for whoever's in that truck. I hope they're okay. There's a bunch of people tending to this person, whoever that person was in that truck. But they hit the they hit the tele or the light pole. And that truck literally just flipped over right before I turned my camera on. Jeez. A lot of driving today. A lot of driving. But I found a spot to park. I'm currently about two and a half hours east of Chicago. Chicago, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. Yeah. Uh, so 
I found a good spot to park. I'm at a rest area. I uh, put over 590 miles in today. And I still got about 11 hours, 10 and a half hours to 11 hours tomorrow to drive. So I, that way I can get to the receiver. Um, but I found a good spot to park. So <clears throat> uh, let me show you kind of the inside of my truck. And if you're wondering what the light is, this is um, my microphone that's on the side of my head. So uh, it didn't look too great on this shirt, so I didn't put it on the shirt. But uh, I keep uh, I keep a nice little chair here, so that way I could be able to sit down, and I could just pretty much chill, and you know watch my Netflix. I can adjust this and bend it down and all that good stuff. But yeah, that's what uh. That's what I do at the end of the night when I shut down and run out of hours. I'll, you know, sit here, kick it, watch some uh, Netflix on my iPad, and straighten up my truck. But I keep my truck clean for the most part. <clears throat> my truck's not dirty. Uh, I do want to get a little rug for down here. Uh, my truck does get a little bit dirty since I, I am on the tanker side, and a lot of the places that I go to are kind of out in the boonies. Uh, it's always a lot of gra uh, gravel and dirt and dust so but yeah but yeah i got my uh got my curtains all closed here and yeah i'm just gonna be chilling here and i'm gonna be laying down soon so but uh we're gonna be hitting it early in the morning